Friends, Happy New Year to you and your dear families. In today's video, we will examine seasonal affective disorder and how faith can help us overcome its challenges. So according to the National Institute of Mental Health, millions of people in the Northern Hemisphere suffer from seasonal affective disorder. In the United States, approximately 5% of adults between the ages of 18 and 30 suffer from seasonal affective disorder. Some of the symptoms associated with uh, SAD include uh, persistent sadness, anxiousness, or feeling of emptiness that is nearly every day and lasts for two weeks. Also, there's feelings of hopelessness and pessimism, um, in addition to irritability, frustration, and restlessness. Not to mention uh, feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness. Moreover, north of the equator, winter pattern SAD include additional symptoms. One of them is uh, oversleeping, which is also known as hypersomnia. There's a lot of people that tend to overeat, particularly with a craving for carbohydrates, leading to weight gain. And there's also uh, social withdrawal. Uh, it seems like people is hibernating, technically. Studies have indicated that people with SAD, especially winter pattern SAD, have reduced levels of the brain chemical serotonin which helps to regulate your mood. Research also suggests that sunlight affects levels of molecules that help maintain normal serotonin levels. Shorter daylight hours may prevent these molecules from functioning properly, contributing to decreased serotonin levels in the winter. There's also the aspect of vitamin D deficiency, which is something I can relate to. Uh, vitamin D deficiency may exacerbate these problems in people with winter pattern SAD because vitamin D is believed to promote serotonin activity. In addition to vitamin D consumed in food, the body produces vitamin D when exposed to sunlight on the skin. With less daylight in the winter, people with SAD may have lower vitamin D levels, further reducing serotonin activity in the body. And let me tell you, I can attest to this reality as I am originally from Puerto Rico, an island in the Caribbean with uh, plenty of sunshine and a tropical weather. Now, about 20 years ago, during my first years in northern latitudes, I experienced SAD while attending grad school. I needed help, counseling, and also a boost in vitamin D. Today, I still take my vitamin D. However, 20 years ago, there's something I did not understand then that I understand now. As we gather in the warmth of this holy season, we reflect on the profound message that Christ brings to our world. He is the true light that pierces through the deepest darkness. For many, the winter brings more than just cold weather. It brings a struggle with seasonal affective disorder where the shorter days and longer nights can weigh heavily upon our spirits. Yet, in God's divine wisdom, it is in this very season, when nights are longest, that we celebrate the birth of Christ, the coming of light to this world. The winter solstice marks a turning point, reminding us that the promise of light follows every moment of darkness. This past Advent season, is a testament that symbolizes this transition. Each candle that we light it is a symbol against darkness, a testament to our faith that Christ will come to renew and illuminate our hearts. The Christmas story itself is a beacon for all who navigate the shadows of despair. In a humble stable under a starlit sky, hope was born, God was born. 
the light of the world, came to us in our darkest hour. In this season, let us hold fast to the lessons of faith. Let us find serenity in the scriptures and strength in our fellowship. Together we can turn our faces to the light of Christ and let his love dispel the gloom. Speaking of scriptures, the words of St. John's Gospel are powerful and parallel to the book of Genesis. Quote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. End quote. Now, as we turn to the book of Genesis, we can see how Christ is the light of the world. Quote, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now, the Gospel of John uses the phrase, quote, in the beginning, end of quote. And that is seen as a deliberate parallel to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, but with a different theological focus. While Genesis describes the creation of the physical world, John's Gospel uses this phrase to introduce the eternal existence of the Word, interpreted as Jesus Christ and His role in creation. I want you to notice the emphasis on both passages on the phrase, in the beginning, suggesting a transition from darkness to brightness. Friends, as we conclude this video, if you find yourself struggling with the weight of these dark days, remember that you are not alone. Christ's birth is a reminder that light will always triumph over darkness. As we celebrate the Christmas season, let's carry this light within us. Let's share it generously with others, becoming beacons of His enduring love and compassion. Now I'm going to ask you to join us in embracing the true spirit of Christmas. Let's renew our hope and rejoice in the light that no darkness can overcome. From all of us here at Serenity Catholic Media, we wish you a Happy New Year. May Christ's peace fill your hearts today and throughout the New Year. As we draw this video to an end and this reflection to a close, let us unite our hearts in prayer. A prayer that resonates with our mission here at Serenity Catholic Media. We always like to close our videos with the Serenity Prayer. O oh God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. As we carry this light into our lives, let's continue to share it with others. If you have found this uh, video inspirational and experienced some comfort in our message today, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you liked this reflection, give us a thumbs up. Your support help us spread the message of serenity and hope to all those in need. Thank you so much. See you next time.